What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit, this is your host Zach, and today we have one gigantic story um, from r slash choosing beggars. Uh, last time I did one long story as opposed to several smaller stories, y'all seem to like it, so I finally found uh, one that is appropriate length, so here we go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode. Alright, today's one story is called, The Best Spy Story Lady. Not sure if this should be an r slash choosing beggars or whatever to classify it as. Closest I can figure it is, some customers are quite rude. Originally written down in 2014. I've been telling this story for quite some time now, and I figured it was time to commit to some permanent form. Setting. I was doing tech support for a company that had wired and Wi-Fi connections at over a thousand locations all across the United States. These connections were at hotels, airports, fast food places, and even one chain of apartments in California. I can't remember the customer's name, so I'm going to refer to her as Margaret. No offense meant to any person, living or dead, who might be named Margaret is intended. Hello, thank you for calling Redacted. How can I help you? Your internet at this hotel isn't working. You need to get it in gear, buddy. Okay, I'll get right to it. Can you please tell me what hotel you're located at so I can work on that for you? What? You're not here in the building? Oh, for gosh. I'm name at the hotel name in city name. Thank you. One moment while I pull up that hotel and check the networks there. Now, I know what you're thinking, this might be a tech support white lie, but it's not. We actually did have full remote access to the networks there at each location. I could pull up the hotel and show individual Wi-Fi routers and network traffic. If you had a wired room, I could tell if you plugged in your network cable. In the case of Wi-Fi, the routers were labeled so that I could see it listed as third floor near room 321 or whatever. So, while we didn't have a layout map of every individual hotel, the support people, such as myself, could make reasonable estimates about the layout and availability. Okay, great. Uh, thank you for your patience. I've got the hotel up here on my screens, and I'm just now checking connectivity to the networks. Now, are you trying to connect with the wired port in your room, or with the Wi-Fi? Listen, I'm wireless. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. I was... I was saying I'm wireless now. Earlier today, I came to town for this business trip. I went to Best Buy and got my laptop upgraded. I told them I wanted to be wireless. I've seen all those TV commercials about wireless, so I figured it would make my life easier to deal with, right? Uh, sure thing. So I went into Best Buy and I told the techs I wanted to get this laptop to be able to do wireless. They took it and well, I'm not certain exactly what they did, but they made it wireless. The technicians at Best Buy even showed me that my laptop was wireless. It was working perfectly at Best Buy. Now I'm here at your hotel and it's not working. You need to get your network fixed. Okay, we can certainly take care of you with this issue. What operating system are you using? Oh, no you don't. Don't you even start to blame my computer for your problems. I just told you I went to Best Buy today and the technicians there helped me out. They installed wireless on my computer. I was there earlier today before I started my trip. We were able to get it working and everything was working great while I was at Best Buy, so don't you even try to blame my computer for this problem. It's not a problem with my computer. I went to Best Buy and it was working great when I left. Now I'm here at your hotel and it's not working and you need to fix the network here at the hotel. Ma'am, I'm not trying to blame your computer for any issues. I am simply trying to begin troubleshooting, and the first step is to determine the operating system of the computer you're trying to connect with. There you go! You're blaming my computer already! I told you, I went to Best Buy today, I went there to get wireless, and they installed it on my computer. Does this hotel have wireless available or not? Yes, ma'am, the hotel has wireless, and... Then why isn't your system working right? Have you got it fixed yet? Look, I'm still unable to connect. You aren't doing anything, are you? Ma'am, I'm trying to go through the standard troubleshooting procedures for helping customers get connected to the wireless. 
There are questions I have to ask about your location and computer to be able to determine where the problem- There you go again! I told you the problem is not with my computer. Listen to me! I went to Best Buy today because I wanted to get wireless on my computer. The technicians there helped me out. They installed wireless on my computer. I was there earlier today before I started my trip. They were able to get it working and everything was working great while I was at Best Buy. So don't you even try to blame my computer for this problem. It is not a problem with my computer. I went to Best Buy and it was working great when I left. Now I'm here at your hotel and it's not working and you need to fix the network here in the hotel. Not my computer. My computer is not the problem. Yes, ma'am. I understand you went to Best Buy and it was working great there. I understand that you are not getting a connection. It's not my computer! Ma'am. Hello. Yes, ma'am. I haven't said it was your computer. I'm trying to describe what is going on here and you keep interrupting. Well, maybe you should stop trying to describe the process and just fix the Wi-Fi at this hotel. I told you my computer isn't working. I went to Best Buy today. I went in there and I told them that I wanted to have wireless on this computer because I have seen the commercials for it and it's supposed to be so damn simple. So why are you sitting here trying to explain the process to me instead of just fixing the damn thing? Ma'am, I would really like to get to troubleshooting this if you would please stop interrupting the process. Fine! Okay, from what I have listed here, you're at Hotel in City. Could you please give me your room number? Why the heck would you need private information like that? I don't feel comfortable about giving that info. That is not something you should be asking a lady that is at a hotel by herself. I'm not even in the same state as you, so giving me your room number shouldn't be a problem. Reason I ask for a room number is that I have access to all of the wireless access points in the building, and I can tell which ones are running and in use as opposed to those that might be offline and needing service. Now, can I get your room number, please? Can't you just fix the wireless thingies that are broken? Seems like that's what needs to be done here since my laptop is obviously not the problem. You see, it was working great earlier today when I went to Best Buy. I went to Best Buy today because I wanted it to be wireless. The technicians there were able to get my computer all set up and they even showed me that it was connecting wirelessly just fine while I was at the Best Buy. But now that I'm here, I'm not connecting so it's obviously not my computer. You just need to fix whatever thing you hear at this hotel is down. Why haven't you been listening? Fix the wireless. Ma'am, I'd like to do that, but while we've been talking, I've been looking at each wireless point in the hotel, and they're all actively running. I'm not showing any of them with any problems, so I can't just fix the bad one, because there aren't any showing up as bad. If you could give me your room number, then I could localize this issue and test the access points in your direct area of the building. Okay, I'm on the third floor in room 319. Okay, great. Thank you for that information. Let me pull up specifics about that room. I'm showing that there is a wired point and you're not even listening to me. I am wireless. I don't need a wired connection. I went to Best Buy earlier today because I wanted to get my laptop changed so that I could run wirelessly. The technicians were very helpful. They did some stuff to my computer to make it work wirelessly. My laptop is wireless. It was working great at Best Buy. Now I'm here and your network is not working. Okay, I was just stating facts, but you interrupted me. I was saying that the room has both wired and wireless options. There is a wireless access point in the room next to yours. You should be getting a great signal. Well, I'm not getting anything. You must be mistaken. There's nothing. This was working great at Best Buy, but now I'm not getting anything, so obviously that wireless thingy isn't working right. People can't connect. Ma'am, I'm showing that there are two other guests connecting to the wireless that you should be able to connect to. I can see that they have been both connected for over 30 minutes, and that they are currently passing traffic back and forth on the network. Well, then why isn't it working for me? And do not try to tell me it's my computer. I went to Best Buy today specifically to get wireless installed on my laptop. The technicians there were able to get it installed and they even showed me that it was working great there at the store. I was able to get online and everything. Okay, I'm not trying to suggest that this is a problem or malfunction in your computer. 
You haven't given me any information about your computer setup yet, so I haven't been able to diagnose where the problem is. But I told you I went to Best Buy. I asked the technicians to install wireless on this computer, and when I left, it was working great. They assured me that I wouldn't have any problems. Okay, but there are still issues, even with a perfectly working computer that could prevent you from being able to connect, such as if the wireless device on your computer is turned on or not. It was working at Best Buy. Yes, but it can be turned off. Just like anything else, it can be turned off and on. Well, how can I tell if it's turned off? That's why I asked you a while ago what operating system you are using. Is it Windows? Yes, it's Windows, but it was working fine at Best Buy and I didn't turn anything off, so it shouldn't be off. See, I went to Best Buy today specifically because I wanted to be wireless. The guys there installed Wi-Fi for me and showed me that it was working and that's what I wanted. I wanted to be wireless. I didn't turn anything off after I left. It should be working great. Okay, so let's see what we can find, shall we? If you could please tell me what you have on your screen in the lower right hand corner. Lower right? Well, nothing of course. I told you, the wireless here at the hotel is not working. Gosh, I wish you'd listen. Oh, okay, excuse me. Did you say there was nothing in the lower right corner? Not even the time showing down there? No, nothing. No clock or anything else. Oh, okay. Do you have your normal screen showing? Such as, can you see the start menu in the bottom left hand corner or any other corner? No, there's nothing there. I told you the network here is not working. This was working at Best Buy. I went there today to get wireless installed. Uh, okay, so it sounds like your laptop screen is blank. Is that correct? Well, yes, I've been saying that this whole time. Your network is not working. Uh, okay, uh, let, let's try this. Can you please try pressing the power button on the laptop? Okay, I pressed it. Can I let it go? Uh, yeah, just press and release and tell me if any lights turn on or the screen changes. Nothing happened. See, I told you it's not a problem with my computer. Your Wi-Fi is not working. Great news, ma'am. I believe I found the issue. Finally, what is wrong with your network? Can you fix it? I need to get online and stop mucking about with you. Ma'am, the issue at this point is that your battery is dead, discharged, and cannot power your laptop. So if you could just plug in your power cord. You obviously have not been listening to me. I am wireless. I went to Best Buy today because I wanted to be wireless so I wouldn't have to mess with cards again. I went to Best Buy earlier today before I came to this hotel and told them I wanted to be wireless. The technicians, they were able to set up my laptop so I could be wireless. And then when they were done, they showed me that it was connecting just fine. I paid them money to be wireless. My laptop is wireless. Haven't you been paying attention? Ma'am, you are the one hitting the button that says power and nothing happens on your laptop. If you hit the power button and the laptop doesn't turn on, then it is a power issue. It needs electricity to run. Wireless only refers to the network connection. The laptop still needs power. Okay then, smart guy. How come I was able to work wirelessly at the Best Buy? It was working great there. Ma'am, laptops have a battery that allows them to operate for a short period of time without being connected to power. That battery only lasts two to four hours before it needs to recharge. While the battery has a charge on it, you don't need to have any cords connected at all. But after that battery gets discharged, you do have to recharge the battery. This really isn't a problem, just plug in your power cord and you'll be fine. I told you I went to Best Buy so I could be wireless. So obviously I intended to be wireless. I didn't bring that with me. Okay, so because you are wireless, am I to understand that you did not even bring the power cord with you? You didn't bring any of the cords with you, is that true? Well, of course I didn't. Are you stupid? Why should I bring cords with me if I'm wireless? Oh, okay, so that is gonna be a problem then. The laptop will not turn on without power. So you're going to have to get a power source to recharge the laptop so it can connect. Can't you just send one up from the front desk of the hotel? Uh, no, that's very unlikely. Each brand and model of laptop uses a specific power connection, and it would be very unlikely that the hotel would have the exact one for your specific model of laptop. There are hundreds of possible types. Well, okay, so I'll just go get another set of batteries. 
gosh, ah. Uh. Okay, so what does this laptop need? Like D cells or something? How many should I get to be able to power me through the weekend? No, ma'am, you can't just use D cells. The batteries that go into laptops are very particular. Your best bet is to go to the nearest Best Buy to see if they can sell you a new power cord if they have one. Why get a new cord? I already have one at home. Can't I just get a new battery from Best Buy? Uh, no ma'am. When you get a battery over the counter at places such as Best Buy, they do not come with a charge on them. You, us you usually have to charge them up for six hours or more before they are usable for the first time. You need to ask them for a charger for your laptop specifically. Uh, yeah. There was probably a bit more discussion on the matter. Once I had convinced her that the battery was the issue, it de-escalated in a hurry. She also stopped trying to retell me the Best Buy story. Yeah, I realized that I wrote it over and over in this post, but honestly, she did tell me the whole story over and over again. I wanted to be true to the original. I attest that this is true and accurate to the best of my recollection. Yes, this really happened. Oh my gosh! Okay, so first of all, that was a great story. <laughs> um, this would be um, r slash tales from tech support, though. And also, I knew one of two things would be the case, alright? She either uh, got to the hotel and just didn't connect to the network because she thought it was going to happen automatically, or that she thought that she didn't need the charger anymore because that's, that's a wire that you'd have to use, and she thought it was wireless, and she was obviously incompetent. Let me know what you thought about this story in the comments below, and let me know if you enjoyed this long story over smaller ones. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.